The International Atomic Energy Agency announced they are ready to carry out inspections on North Korea's nuclear activity if denuclearization talks with Pyongyang are successful. Officials from Seoul expressed hopes the nuclear watchdog could play an important role in the near future. Huang Jiang-ho has more from their latest meeting. South Korean officials met with representatives of the International Atomic Energy Agency on Wednesday. With Seoul and Washington gearing up for talks with Pyongyang, the meeting with the IAEA was a chance to start putting in place the mechanisms that will be involved in monitoring North Korea if respective summits end on a positive note. I believe this meeting will serve as a good opportunity for both of us uh, to draw lessons from the, our past experiences uh, regarding the Korean nuclear issue. Also, we can exchange very candid views on what kind of actions we can take you know, when the, the time is right for that. The Deputy Director General of the Nuclear Watchdog was emphatic in his response. We are ready to resume monitoring verification activities in the DPRK as soon as the political environment agreements and our mandate from the Board of Governors will allow. North Korea has a checkered history with the IAEA. The agency was the primary body tasked with monitoring the regime's nuclear activities when previous promises of denuclearization were in place. However, despite efforts by the nuclear watchdog, Pyongyang was able to continue its nuclear weapons program. The last time the inspectors were in North Korea was in 2009, before they were kicked out shortly before Pyongyang's second nuclear test. The agency's effectiveness at keeping tabs on the regime has been questioned before, but South Korea, the U.S. and the international community are likely to call on the IAEA inspectors again if an agreement to denuclearize is reached. Seoul's foreign ministry said that the nuclear watchdog official will also meet with Seoul's nuclear envoy, Lee Do-hun, on Thursday to continue discussions. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.